Hey guys, this is Steve Losh, and I'm here at work, um, and I'm about to use Git Bisect to find a bug. So I figured I'd do a screencast, because it seems that uh, some people have trouble figuring out what exactly Bisect does. Um, so in a nutshell, what Bisect's going to let us do, um, basically we know we have a bug somewhere in our, um, in our repository, right? So let's say it's here, right? And then we also know that we have a we don't have the bug somewhere before that, right? And so what git bisect does is let us track down which of these commits caused the bug, and then we can look at the commit and see what happened, and hopefully that'll give us a really good head start on fixing the bug, right? Um, so what we're going to do, um, I've got a little video right here uh, on Universal Subtitles. This is running locally on my machine. Um, and so I'm going to show you what the bug is. So the bug happens when I go to add a new translation of some subtitles Oops. and I tell it to auto translate using Bing's translation API so if I click that nothing happens that's the bug it's broken so okay we know that uh, the bug exists here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by saying git bisect start okay that'll say okay git we're ready to bisect and we're gonna tell it that the revision that we're currently on, remember we're, we're up here, we're on the, uh, the dev branch, um, we're going to tell it that this is bad, right? Now Git still can't do anything because it doesn't know where a good revision is. And so what I usually do, first of all, I'm going to close this, and then I'm just going to say, um, usually I just end up going back quite a while and uh, picking just an arbitrary revision. It doesn't really matter as long as it's in the past. Um, so I pick somewhere that's not too far in the past, but um, this is far enough. So I copy that revision hash, and then I'm going to check out that revision. So now my local machine is running that revision, right? So if I refresh, um, it's not going to look any different, um, but, you know. So I'm going to add new translation again, I'll say German again. Sorry, there's a truck outside my window. I hope you can't hear that too badly. And I'm going to say auto-translate. And... Did I not click it? Come on. No luck. Okay. Looks like that revision is still bad. Actually, let me let me force refresh, because uh, I forgot that, you know, I, my browser may be caching JavaScript, because this is almost certainly a JavaScript issue. So I force refreshed. Let me try clicking it now. No? There we go. Okay, let me try one more time. Yeah, this issue is really tricky. Um, I don't like this bug. <laughs> okay. Try it one more time. There we go. It took 82 milliseconds. Okay. So this one appears to be good. So we're going to say git bisect. Good. And now, so now we've told it that this revision somewhere in the past is good, and we told it that the one that we were on at the beginning, the tip, is bad. So now we're just it's just going to pick our revision roughly halfway in between and test that. And so if that revision is good, then it knows that the bug came later, otherwise it knows that the bug came before. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this and let you watch me so you can see I'm not doing anything magical here. Um, just going to refresh, but... Okay, um, and it, you can see Git already updated us to the uh, this new revision that it picked. So all I have to do is refresh, click Auto Translate, and it worked. So this one's good as well. Okay, and you can see that it cuts the number of revisions it needs to test in half, roughly, each time. Um, it's going to depend on merges and such, but roughly it'll it'll take about half. Force refresh, okay. Let everything load nicely, click auto translate. And, yep, so we made the request, but we didn't fill in the, uh, the text boxes. So this is the problem. This is the bug. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that as bad. And now it's gonna pick a different revision. Gonna force refresh again. 
lots of force refreshing. Just because this is all JavaScript based and I don't know what Firefox is caching. So I'm going to try this. And I clicked it. Did it make the request? No. I think sometimes my mouse doesn't register clicks properly. I'm not sure why. It's exceptionally annoying. There we go. It made the request, but it did not fill in the text fields. So this one is also bad. Okay. I'm going to force refresh again. Um, sometimes you can script tests so that it can do it automatically. Uh, honestly, I usually don't do that. It's just more trouble than it's worth. So it's just kind of a pain. I don't end up doing it most of the time. All right, let's try it again. And again, it made the request, but did not fill in the text fields. So this one's bad as well. All right, we're down to seven revisions. Let's force refresh again. Pretty much the same thing over and over again until you get it. Um, if you come across a revision that you can't test for whatever reason, like uh, it needs database migrations or something, you can just say git biosec skip and it'll skip that revision. So, uh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and auto translate. Mm. No, I don't think my mouse clicked. No? Come on, mouse. Stop screwing with me. Huh. Okay, this is just broken. Let me try. Let me try force refreshing one more time on this, this page. I don't know why. Okay. Auto translate. No? All right, we're gonna we're gonna say we're gonna skip this one, um, and that's not gonna reduce the number of re revisions we need to test. This is just gonna pick a different one. So I don't like that I wasn't seeing the request that usually made. So I'm gonna skip that one. I think there may have been a different bug there. So now if I click that, no, is it still doing the same thing? Okay. I'm going to skip one more, and if this one doesn't work, I'm going to call that a bad revision. We'll see. Okay, scroll down to the bottom of the list, auto-translate, oh, there we go. Did you see that? It filled in everything perfectly. So this is a good revision, so we know this one's good. Okay. So let's try the next one that Git chose. And you can see this time it didn't quite take off half. It only took off one revision. That may have been because we skipped a bunch, but it also may just because be because of the, um, the topography of the repository. So, um, but we'll get we'll get to the end eventually. Okay, we clicked and nothing happened again. We're getting that problem again. Um, you know. Uh, I'm going to skip this one as well. I don't trust this. Refresh. If that happens again, I'll consider it to be the same bug. But it's just weird that sometimes it shows in the inspector and sometimes it doesn't. I don't like that. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to consider this to be a bad revision. Okay, so says zero re revisions left, so this is the revision that is going to tell us whether or where exactly the bug happened, or it thinks it's going to tell us. It's not always perfect, it won't always work flawlessly, but yep, this one's broken as well. Yeah, so we're going to call this one bad as well. Um, okay, it says this is the first bad commit, let's see. see, okay. Um, well, it was a change to the translation panel.js. That's promising. Um, okay, I'm going to say that this is probably the commit that introduced the bug, since it did, it edited the JavaScript for this particular panel, so that seems reasonable to me. All right, guys, uh, I think that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I know this is kind of just a boring, simple screencast, but I figured that it might be helpful to see 
um, bisect in action uh, to see how it actually finds a bug in the real world. So, all right, cool. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks.